called one of the largest fentanyl selling rings in the history of Luzerne County, but now it is history and six people are now locked up. Eyewitness News lead I Tim reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us now in the control center. Andy. Well, Mark, Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro tells Eyewitness News this ring sold, get this, at least $1 million worth of the drug on the streets of the Hazelton area since January. That equates to 100,000 doses of that drug. Multiple times uh, we have called the cops about drugs being dealt right in front of my house. Um, I've watched people overdose across the street from my house. The words of a man who lives near 3rd and Garfield Streets, one of the locations where dealers and buyers of the fentanyl would meet up. So say investigators. He did not want to appear on camera fearing for his safety. It's been going on here for, for years. Cops have been called many a times and nothing ever seems to get done. But I'm glad something's finally going to happen here. And that happened Thursday when state and local officers led by the Pennsylvania Attorney General's office arrested six people. They say 28-year-old Joel Tejeda Guerra was the ringleader. A 100-page arrest affidavit details a complex drug ring. According to those documents, Guerra sold fentanyl out of his home on Lincoln Street and his clothing store on Alter Street. 98-year-old Dominic DiPaolo lives next door to Guerra on Lincoln Street. I just saw the policeman, the, 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 door, the door was half open and he was inside. That's all. Nobody knocked on my door. I just happened to come out and I saw him in the doorway. Understand that these six dealers that we locked up were infecting these communities with poisons that were claiming lives, with poisons that was paralyzing a community. I told the attorney general about the concerns of some folks here that this was a one and done drug bust. I would say to the good people of Hazleton, this was not our first bust in the community and it won't be our last. We are not leaving. We are staying put and we're gonna to continue to do this work. All other suspects remain locked up, unable to post $250,000 cash bail each. They face 20 to 40 years in prison if convicted on a slew of drug charges. Reporting in the Control Center, Andy Mahal, Chicago News. Mark? Andy, thanks for that. 143 people died from drug overdoses in Luzerne County in 2018. The Attorney General says two-thirds of those deaths were connected to fentanyl.